Hi, I'm Barry Sandoval with a whole bunch of treasures from the Golden and Silver Ages to show you. You see a couple great ones right in front of me, and we've got more than a thousand others. So let's get right to the highlights here. The first image you're going to see is from our featured collection of the auction, which is the Kirby Confer collection. And this collection includes 10 Karl Barks paintings. All of them are being sold without reserve. And this one here is an embarrassment of riches, which is one of the biggest paintings that Karl Barks ever did and also one of the artist's personal favorites. You can read his comments in the lot description, and uh, I love that depth gauge that's uh, set to over 90 feet, you'll notice. Another one of the all-time greats is, of course, the late Frank Frazetta, and this image is called Ponytail. It's the cover art for the Tritonian Ring, which was a late 60s paperback, and it's one of the best Frazetta pieces that we've ever offered at Heritage. As for comic book art, have a look at this early piece here. This is Bob Kane, Jerry Robinson, and George Russo's from Batman number 13, one of the earliest Batman pages we've offered. And how about that great shot of the dynamic duo there at lower right. As for Silver Age art, this next image here is Jack Kirby art from Avengers number one. How do you know it's from the very first issue? Well, look, here's the Hulk. He was only a member for uh, one issue and a couple of pages of number two. And there's also Iron Man with his old style armor. More Jack Kirby, this next image is a presentation piece done for Silver Star. Now, Silver Star was a comic published in the 1980s, but this piece was done around 1977 to accompany a movie script uh, long before the, the comic book came out. This is very good size, it's 24 inches high. In fact, have a look at this next picture here. Here's the king of the comics posing with his work, and you can see uh, what, a, what a large piece it is one of the bigger Kirby pencil pieces we've ever seen. Another one of the Marvel standbys was John Romita. Check this page out from Amazing Spider-Man number 51. Yeah, that's the Kingpin. It's not all fat, it's muscle. And uh, the Kingpin first appeared in issue 50, but it wasn't until 51 that Spidey actually saw him. So this is the first time that Spidey actually uh, lay eyes on, on the Kingpin. Moving on to the 1970s, here, this one is from Bernie Wrightson. Uh, covers from him are, are not easy to find, of course. And this is just one of a few Wrightson pieces uh, that we've got in the auction. As far as comic strip art is concerned, everybody loves the far side. There aren't many pieces available for sale, but here's a nice one that we've got in the sale. And we also have the likes of the Peanuts, Prince Valiant, Tarzan, Crazy Cat, and other strip favorites. As far as Golden Age comics are concerned, this is More Fun, number 52, and this is a tough book to find. In fact, look at the CGC census. There's only nine unrestored copies graded higher than fair, and this is one of the top ten Golden Age books, uh, the first appearance of the Spectre. Our next comic here is Batman, number three, and this is the highest graded copy of this issue, 9.4, and with the black cover, you can see why this is tough to find in high grade. Another one of the big highlights of the auction are the pedigree copies of Golden Age Flash issues from the Gary Keller collection. Really hard to pick just one. This one is number 37, the Mile High copy, and it's a favorite of mine because that uh, Sheldon Moldoff cover with Hawkman is one of the more spectacular covers of his run. As far as Silver Age, here's a Spider-Man number one. Those are always welcome, and this is an excellent, very fine plus copy. And we've got some very high-grade Bronze Age as well. This is Ghost Rider 1, the best copy by far we've ever offered of this, and this is a tough book in 9.8. For the underground fans out there, check this one out. This is Foo, which is a homemade Robert Crumb comic. You'll have to read the whole story of it on the website, but this is such a rare item, even we at Heritage had never seen one before. Interesting piece of memorabilia. This is the Mickey Mouse Waddle book. You'll have to read about how the, the, the Waddle book concept worked. These were figures that you could punch out who would actually walk down a, a little runway, and the Mickey Waddle book is, is considered one of the most uh, rare Disney memorabilia items. We've also got a brand new feature on our website to uh, offer to you. It's called the 360 degree view. And you can see a sample of it right here, and this piece you're seeing is also the piece you're going to see in a second uh, sitting right behind me uh, here on the, on the sideboard. It's the Karl Barks uh, figurine of Far Out Safari, which really has to be seen in three dimensions to be fully appreciated. 
So check that out. We've got it for some of the other uh, three-dimensional uh, lots as well. Just another feature for you. So those are some of my favorites. I'm sure you'll have your own. I didn't even get to the Miller art, the Ditko art, the Byrne art, all sorts of other thing, uh, things. There's a, a thousand uh, lots for you to look at. So please do so at HA.com.